everybody, it's Lawman for FreePCGamer.com and today we are going to be playing Dear Esver. Now I actually received this game from a friend probably about three months ago, never played it. Don't know why. I heard it was very short, but I heard it's very calming and a unique game, so I thought, why not try it out for the channel? I don't do many playthroughs, so I might as well start doing one at least. So let's have a look here. So we're going to the Loud House. Baby chapter, yes I will. Dear Esther, the gulls do not land here anymore. Oh. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. That's a little paradise. When we first landed here, Donnelly wrote that the herds were sickly and their shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. Three hundred years later, even they have departed. Oh, oh, we're moving, we're moving. Oh, this game's so pretty. So here was a source mod actually first, before it got turned into a... Uh, I have no idea what engine this is, probably it's on engine. Um, but I do know they're doing a crisis one. Did I just hear annoyed? No, I think this game's coming. I actually. <laughs> oh god, that scared the hell out of me. Why am I. This isn't even a horror game, but I'm so scared. It's very beautiful, though, I must admit. I like the music. I love these sort of games. Like. What's this, uh. It's graffiti. Ooh. I just love calming games, which just tell its story in its own unique way. I mean, I've never been a fan of shooters and stuff. Um, I do. I used. I play a lot of it. Yeah, it looks like that guy got busy. But I play a lot of the um, kind of Counter Strike sort of games when I need to just kind of blow some steam. But I, I really do like these games. And this guy really never got finished painting, did he? Poor guy. Boiler. Boilers are evil. They like blow up and like kill everyone. Depressing. Anyway, so, ooh, two paths. I choose this path. Nice stormy beach. Now, I don't know where this game is supposed to be set, but it uh, reminds me of a place I actually know of. I don't know why I'm getting a bit of frame like them. Frame rate is fine. So this is this is rather relaxing. Like a lot of people won't like this sort of scenery, but spending a lot of t your childhood kind of next to a sort of stormy beach is actually it just kind of brings me back. And I do like I love the noise of rain and the sea because you have to remember I live in England, so come on, it's all gonna be sunny and lovely every day. And this is actually the weather most days. Um, well, not most days, but a lot of days in winter when I go to the beach. Oh, look, lobster cage. It's like a uh, more lobster cages. Very dangerous. Don't touch them. Apparently, although I never tried it. Okay, kids, try it at your own risk. I am not responsible for anything that may happen. This beach is very dirty. I don't like dirty beaches. Kind of annoying me. When you were born, your mother told me, a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. It's interesting. This game kind of reminds me a little bit of Amnesia. I think they are making a game of the people of Am. I think it either is made by the people that made Amnesia or they're making the game with the people that made Amnesia called uh, Rapture or we, they've all gone to Rapture which looks very interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's a horror game yet but it kind of reminds me about just walking around with maybe horror stuff going on but nothing actually going on just the imagination of, oh somebody's been here with before me I see is that a rock I thought I was a dead person then it's interesting what could it be though it's like 
maybe something was here and it twirled round, or maybe it's like giving me instructions to twirl round or something, I don't know. Let's continue on. I don't want to be caught up in that rubbish. You don't know, it could be some demon from the depths of hell. Well, maybe not hell. Hell is probably... I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, oh, a listless wreck so that's without identification. Oh. My rocks are these bones, yes, that's not shallow a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves, um, how do I get out here? my forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me, sir. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Wow. Maybe, am I Esther? Then, and am I reading these letters and this guy's died? Because if that's the case, then that is incredibly depressing. I love that. Aww. I, I, again, I, I just don't like people like ruining beaches because I spent a lot of my childhood at beaches. So, um, oh, can't go that way. It's funny because I don't even live anywhere near. I'm like an hour journey away from the uh, nearest seaside. So am I going this way or am I having to go all the way back now because that's going to be annoying. Let's tell you what, let's go for a swim. This looks like I can get off of here. Well, I can get off here. Oh, maybe there's no jump button. I don't think there's any controls apart from WASD, so... Let's have a look now. Oh my god, that's scary, 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 scary. Let's not go that way. Okay, that's weird. I just... Finally flew up in the air. Let's get out of this. Now. Get out. Let's go. Push! Damn it. Ta da! Okay, now let's run away. Is that a zoom in button or is that like a run button? That's a zooming. Doesn't zoom in very far though, so I don't know the whole point of that is. Sorry if I go silent, I'm just listening to the waves and the ocean and the wind. Waves, ocean and the wind are kind of well the wave and ocean's kind of the same thing. Seaweed. Seaweed like I, I don't like beaches at night because there's so many things called I, I don't know what the actual name is, but we call them hoppers. And I like little bug things that jump all over the place and just yuck, yuck. I don't like them. So yeah, when you hit, when you see these movies that are, like romantic, like oh we're going to the beach at night, oh we're going to sleep together tonight at the beach. It's like no, it's it's not like that. It's just full of bugs and creep crawlers and fish and crabs and everything at night actually. Although it's fun to go around, you see a lot of bats at night near the seaside, which is incredibly weird, which I never really understood why there's so many bats. Okay, I don't know where we're going, I think we're going towards this tower here. That's dangerous. But, um, definitely reminds me of somewhere I've been before. Maybe they based it off that. Donnelly's book had not been taken out from the library since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. Okay, so the thief is incredibly depressing. I like that. It's a very nice look at that. That's beautiful. I don't know why a lot of people don't like this sort of stuff. When someone had died or was dying, 
and were so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. They cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Ooh, so what, is he like a zombie? Or maybe he's just psychologically infected. I'm a little bit like that. A little bit paranoid. But you know, that's just life. Everyone's a bit paranoid in life. Oh, are they? I hope they are. Maybe they all, maybe they all hate me. Do you all hate me? I hope you don't all hate me. I swear to God, if you hate me, I will be so angry. <sighs> Witches! And for all of you don't don't know, basically, like, I call these stone witches because, like, the myth is that every witch kind of got stone turned into one of these stone. And obviously, it's not true because it's just a myth, but, um... Apparently, that's the, uh, tra fact behind it all. And this is, like, I believe this is Heather. I don't think it actually is, but I'm going to call I quote that directly. Battle. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Or maybe he's asking himself. Maybe he's a schizophrenic. Actually, this really does remind me of a place of Ireland, actually. Um, well, my family come from Ireland, so... I am... Oh. Okay, apparently the stones have noises. Which just makes me think they actually are witches. So I'm just going to keep moving on. Hang on. A little bit of ship down there. It's wrecked all. It's just uh, landed. I've already just said nothing was on this island, so you know. This is a nice bay like this. I wanna go to the shipwreck. I wanna go to the shipwreck. I wonder if I can actually. Can I like. Dear Esther. Oh. Scares me every time. I met Paul. Uh, not Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason, or retribution, he still spiraled in panic thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. In other words, he was sad. Probably very, very, very addicted to his job. Well, like other people. I, I mean, you've always got to have fun. Always have to have fun in life. Always make everything a game. That's my new challenge for you, no matter what it is in life, always make it a game. I'm going to be going this way, I probably it's not. Actually, it might be the way, so I'm, I'm going to go back now, think of it. 